Hi, Dr. BLT here. Just hanging out. Welcome to Psychologic Song Talks. And uh, this is a book that I'm going to introduce to you today. I'm going to do some reading and reflection. The book is called Memory in Mind and Brain. What a Dream Imagery Reveals by Morton F. Reiser. Nature keeps the secret of dreams filed in a safe deposit box. As with all such boxes, two keys are required to open it, but these are special keys in that they also provide access to two file cabinets. One of the keys unlocks a file containing neurobiologic and cognitive neuroscientific information about memory. The other unlocks a different file, this one containing clinical psychoanalytic information also about memory. Any one of us is allowed to use either key whenever and for as long as we want, but only one at a time. Yet the secret in the safe deposit box, which I shall refer to as mind-brain, encompasses both sets of information in a unitary form that we can only imagine, a unitary form. Never having both keys at the same time, we can never unlock it, never really know what it is. What follows in this book is an account of things I have learned in the course of my attempts to figure out what may be in the safe deposit box and what that unitary form could possibly be. Hmm, a, unifor a unitary form that allows us to access information about memory as it pertains to uh, biologic, neurobiologic and cognitive neuroscientific uh, aspects as well as clinical psychoanalytic information. Now when I think about clinical psychoanalytical information, I think about something far more mysterious, um, something deeper, something unconscious, some, uh, something motivated on a deeper level by our emotions. When I think about neurobiologic and cognitive neuroscientific information, I think about man's feeble attempt to try to take something which is distinctly human, infused with emotion, and take the emotions out of it, take the mystery out of it, put it in a, in a test tube, try to tear it apart and analyze it without consideration for its human aspects. This is the result of something that's been going on in psychology for a long time, mechanomorphism. But I would just like to, and this is not really an official song that I've that I've written. I'm just going to kind of drift along and uh, just get you to think about what memory means to you. I'm just going to make up the words as I go along. Just going to kind of drift here. I'd like you to do some introspection. Not only access your brain, but also your emotions. What does memory mean to you? Is it something we can examine in a test too? You develop a memory of something that makes you blue. just doesn't affect you.
caused you to feel nothing. Riding with her cousins. How did you get hurt? Today, what happened? The sidewalk at school. She fell down on the sidewalk at school and she remembers it because of the pain. And that just goes to show you that you can't separate emotions from memories. They're central to memories, and when we try to dissect them, to pull the whole emotional process out of memory, can we really know what memory is? I say no. I'm Dr. BLT, Wait. and this is, come on, a little closer. This is Cassidy. Her daddy's a psychologist and a musician. Hope you learned something.